in that I am concerned about a couple of things. Number one is the defense has a very valuable but limited resource, time. We've got trial date of October 6, and I, in my preparation for that upcoming trial, and Ms. Diallo's didn't want to be sent down any rabbit holes regarding things that really are uh, irrelevant. And so the reason that I filed the motion was to ask that the people be ordered to identify what it is that they intend to use from those computers. I, I can't see anything of any great relevance. What few things that I've found in there uh, don't, if that's all there is, then I'm, I'm happy with it. But My I, understanding is, is that the prosecution has identified some of the items. Is that correct? If yeah. someone could speak on behalf of the prosecution, please. Lisa Lindsay, on behalf of the people of the state of Michigan, um, as it relates to computers, the reason why they weren't returned is because the statute says, the law says that we cannot give them back in, unless we give them an the opportunity to forensically test them. We've been asking them repeatedly, did they want to test them? And if they didn't, to sign off on something, to give us something in writing, they never did. That's why we're here today. That's the only reason why the computers have been held this long is because they did not let us know whether they wanted to exercise independently in writing the right to forensically. Ms. Diallo, you Judge, I, when I came on this case, there was a controversy about the computers. I have had contact with Ms. Lindsay, and I appreciate her telling us what the law is. I think we might be able to figure it out. And I've had contact with her and the office through emails. I signed off long ago on those computers. What my objection was is that they wanted my client to sign something, and that will never happen. I am his agent, as well as Mr. McCarthy. Those computers, we contend, should have been given back in April. Now, we understand she has the right to, we have the right to forensically, forensically examine, but Judge, they've examined them. They're the people. They bring the case, and we have what they have gotten. We just want to know exactly what it is they're planning on using in trial of this particular matter. I, it's just that we believe it's a stall tactic in order to um, make you Mr. Fossinelli. Excuse me. Have you identified what it is that you yes. plan on? Honestly. Excuse me. I don't need you to say anything, Mr. McCarthy. Go ahead, Ms. Lindsay. Prior to trial, we have to turn over an exhibit list. Anything we intend to use will be on that exhibit list. And as it relates to that, I have already throughout this case systematically been giving them things we intend to use. Just this week, I gave them a list of phone calls that we... That I'm they, talking about, let's just stay with the computer, okay? It, as it relates to the computers, we have we told them that anything that has Mr. Bashar's name on it could potentially be relevant. Documents and emails between him and Mr. Fosnelli that are in the computer could potentially be relevant. As it relates to what we're going to use, we don't know yet because we have not determined each particular piece of evidence. And here's the situation. As long as the defense has access to have it forensically tested, they know what the uh, parameters are. Anything with Mr. Bashir's name potentially could be used. If we, if we identified in our response to the motion, anything with Mr. Bashir's name on it could potentially be used. Anything... Any so I don't see what the problem any is. Any correspondence between witnesses but let, 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 let me just say this to you. Let me say this to you. We have worked long and hard prior to this team being assembled. And I am not going to be a, go over each and every minor motion. You all are attorneys. And this doesn't make sense. Obviously, I do believe that it is not proper for Mr. Bashir to sign off on anything. Excuse me. But what I'm going to tell you is this, we are, I am a judge and you are lawyers. I am not a referee at a little league game. And I refuse to allow this trial to go down that path. Because see, what I understand is, it'll be 2016 when we complete this. And that's not going to happen in here. It's not fair to Mrs. Bashara, and it's not fair to the defendant. So I'm going to just say this to you. Every time that there's a disagreement, you all gonna have to work this out. But this is unacceptable. Now we've been back over this over and over and over again. Every little thing, there's a contention, there's an issue. Now I don't know, is it because you're playing to the media or is there a legitimate concern? But I'm gonna tell you this, it's time for this show to go on. As far as this trial date is concerned, it is a firm date. Anything you want on that computer, if, it's, if they've identified it, they have an opportunity to examine it. 
Now, the nuances, well, we want Mr. Bashir to sign out. You all can work this out. Excuse me. It's over 150 years of experience at both of these tables. Judge, Excuse me. No, 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 wait. No, no, wait a minute, Miss Lindsay. I'm not done. Okay. And we did this in the very beginning when we had to go through some other things until we finally figured out this is where we're going. Those computers should have been back. I, I, I was surprised to even see this. Judge, they didn't sign off. Even if they didn't get Mr. Bashara, we sent a stipulation for them to sign. They never, the attorneys never signed the written stipulation. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, so it was, even if they I said, mean, you can't, and that's my, my, my issue. You can't stipulate to anything. A stipulation is an agreement. Mm -hmm. Here they're making it readily available. So we have to waste precious court time to come in here to talk about things that you all can resolve when you meet with each other. But I'm not going to keep doing that. And Judge, just for the record, I, it, the way it was made, it seemed like we are not cooperating. We have been, I have went over and above what I had to do. I sat down and prepared a list for them of how to navigate the hard drive, which I did not have to do. I have went over and above trying to give things to them. So for Ms. Gallo to come in here and say that you know, we are just trying to do a stall tactic. That was unfair on her part because she knows. I've called her into my office. I've given her additional things. I have even given her things that she could not get from prior counsel. There was some discovery turned over by the defender's office, which they did not have. Instead of making them go back to the defender's office, I invited Ms. Diallo into my office, gave her my file, and let her Xerox the entirety of my file for her to come in here today and say, that we're doing a stalling tactic, that's just not right. Because she should stay on the record, the efforts that I have gone through to give them the additional thing and help and things. But I'm just going to say this to you. I understand the issue about not having Mr. Bashir sign off. That could have been explained to Ms. Lindsay. It was. Excuse me, but to bring this motion, because you all as lawyers cannot agree on evidence, is unacceptable. And I'm going to say this to you. It's not going to keep going like this. Because just like I put this defense team together, I'll dismantle it. Judge, but we we're going forward, and I want him to have the best that he can. But I refuse to have every issue. This is a stipulation. This man, Mr. Fascinelli, there were important documents mm -hmm. that he cannot have because these items, and how many items are we actually even talking about? It's less than 20, I would believe. 20 items. Excuse me, 20 items, and this is what we in court about, 20 items? Excuse me, ma'am, what are the issues that we can identify as to the 20 items, what they are? Do you have the, that list available? I do not have that list available. I'm going to be going through because it depends on what witnesses we actually call and what witnesses how we're going to question them. It's a matter of trial strategy, which we don't have to reveal. Excuse me, that's point. not what I'm saying. Yes the 20 things that are on a computer, can you just identify those 20 documents so that they can take a look at them and have them forensically examined? Yeah, you, you can't forensically examine specific documents. You have to forensically examine the whole computer. And they and don't want to do that. And that they indicate that they are going to forensically examine? When? No, we no, didn't we've never, do that. Okay, so we've never made Judge, that if I can, I submitted something to your um, deputy for you to look at. I signed, my signature is on the document to return the computers, I believe, oh, I in see. May. So, to, and, and we're not, May 5th. We are not here to talk about the great efforts of Miss Lindsay and the government and letting me see things that we should see anyway because it's not trial by surprise. We should not be here on this record because in May I signed off. That was a, that was a stipulation between Schechter and Ooh, us about it. returning. That was not the stipulation for them saying they weren't going to forensically examine computers. Those are two separate issues. Those are two separate issues. Judge, it's not. We needed a separate, they said they had no objection to us turning the computers back over to them. But as it relates to the forensic examination of the computers, they did not specifically indicate. Your Honor, every the time we, would we not think we have an agreement for them to turn over the computers and the telephones, let's not lose track of that, mm -hmm. something else is raised to prevent that. If they've downloaded everything they want or everything they need, or, or as we understand, they've downloaded everything for the computers, 
there's no reason for them to hold on to those computers. They and should we turn over those ooh. computers today. They and we have been willing to do they, so. They, excuse me. They can then discuss what it is they want to do with the contents of the computers. So it doesn't my, involve us. Okay, fine. So my understanding, uh, Ms. Diallo, is, is that you do not want to forensically examine the computer. Yeah, that is absolutely 100% have said that through the series of emails, and that's the only reason why we're here today, because the computers were not turned over, and they're making it seem as if the defense team over here has something to do with holding these computers back, and that is not the case. And the data that was downloaded from the computer has been made available to the defense? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. Then I want those, I, I, I'm going to do an order. Thank I you. want them to be released today. That's fine. That's fine. That, yeah, we always we were always intending once we got an, an acknowledgement on the record that the computers were not going to be examined, we were willing to. Okay, but that's not required for you to be yes, on the record. Is. No, what I'm saying to you, you all are lawyers. Mm -hmm. There could have easily been a stipulation yes. between the parties as to release the computer because the defense chose not to have it forensically examined. But I am not going to have to come down here, put every little thing on the record that's not required. There are many things that can be resolved by stipulation. And this should have been one of them. And it's not acceptable. Now, I don't know whose fault it is, but you all going to have to do a little better job, both sides, of working things out. We have an extensive uh, witness list. I'm not going to be here in 2016 doing the people of the state of Michigan versus Bob Bashir. I had an order ready. You can Thank have, you. Where, can, where are the computers being held? Oh, and no. at, the, at the Gross Point Park um, Police Department. Is that correct? That's Gross now, Park. what about, now let me get to the cell phone. What about the cell phone? They, they, everything can be turned over. Everything will be turned over to Now, the what's your situation, Ms. Diallo? No, that's fine, Judge, because this, all that should have been turned over a long time ago. We have nothing to do with the cell phones, the telephones, the, and the issue of the computer. Before Mr. McCarthy got on the case, before I got on the case, it was outstanding. Okay, now let me understand this. The phone calls have been provided or whatever to defense. As of... Uh, yesterday's date because obviously he keeps on making phone calls the new call no no sold. is there a cell phone i'm not understanding are you saying that there is a cell phone a physical cell phone of mr uh falsinality yes. Yes. Can, can that be turned over yes everything that they're requesting so when you say that there are continuing phone calls you're talking about from the jail yes okay exactly. very good all right exactly. so what i'm going to order is is that the phone cell phone and the computer of Mr. Fascinelli be released forthwith and the Gross Point Police, I think that there is a representative here. Yep. We will make that order and we will have that done forthwith and that should conclude this matter. Judge, I have some questions on clarification. I've been told here today for the first time that there's 20 items or thereabouts. I'd like to have those identified in an order uh, that I, or, or, or pursuant to an order that this court will issue, so at least we can conserve our resources here. And and I want to also make it clear that that stipulation that you were handed here today, that Miss Diallo signed on yes. May the fifth, this thing was still going on in June, and that's the only reason I filed this motion because I was made aware of the fact that Mrs. Schechter was going to be here today to argue her complaints, and I figured that this was a time for the court to decide it because it hadn't been decided before. And when Ms. Diallo says on May 5th, we stipulate, because that's what you have up there, is a stipulation and that she signed on behalf of Mr. Beshara, and the only holdup was that Mr. Beshara himself had not signed it. Now, you've already agreed that that was a proper thing for Ms. Diallo to refuse to do. Okay, listen, let me explain this to you. I'm not going to say which side should get more brownie points than the other. What I'm asking you to do is work in the spirit of cooperation. This does not have to be this contentious. There are bigger issues here that need to be litigated than the return of a computer. We want Mr. Bashir's signature uh, forensically. We, there's things that can be resolved. 
Now, obviously, there may not be some things, but this is not the type of thing that I want to keep coming in here for. I have set a scheduling order so that we can move forward because this matter has gone on too long. And I think we, I think we can stipulate to that. We can definitely stipulate to that. The other thing, judges, since they brought us in the court, we're not trying to argue, and I have not brought anything to argue about. We still, as the people, have not received a single piece of discovery from the defense. Not one. Not a document, not anything. Mayor Judge, we don't bring the case. The people of the state of Michigan bring the case against the citizen. We do not have anything. The discovery that Ms. Lindsay talked about, although it's not part of this particular motion that she provided to me, I got that from her. That was, those were things that the defense, the prior defense team had received. I have absolutely no idea what it is that Ms. Lindsay is talking about. Maybe if she can tell us what she thinks is out there, then we can find it too. Judge, there's a reciprocal discovery order signed in this case. The court signed it from day one. There's always some type of discovery on the part of the defense. What we're trying to avoid is right on the eve of trial being dumped with some type of discovery. No, that's not going to happen. See, because we've been asking. I've sent several letters to Ms. DeYoung. Wait a minute. Not, this is... That's, that's not going to happen. It's true. never going to happen. That's Judge. just ridiculous. No, no. Excuse me. Okay. Pursuant to the case law, 28 days before trial, and I believe in my order, it is to be received. If there's anything that comes on in after that, it won't be in this trial. Thank, Thank you. Judge. That's fine. Very good. Now, excuse me, ma'am. Okay, that's it. Okay, very good. Uh, Kelly, anything else is outstanding at this time? Nothing, Your Honor. Okay. And, and the court's order includes the camera, I assume. Excuse me? Uh, there's also a camera. That's everything, Judge. That's everything we have. Okay. okay, so it's a camera. It's a camera, it's a cell phone, and what else? Because I want to be specific. Six there's computers. A laptop. There's, there's two, uh, all computers, laptops, and desktops, a camera, and some phones. And the back, ex, backup external hard drive, Judge. Yeah, external. I know, I'm sorry. Can you, is there a possibility that list can be provided to me so I can do the order? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Our next action date is, madam? 8th of um, September. That's right. the final conference. Motions are due on the 25th of this month. Correct. And just one other thing, Judge, and that is that, um, you know, my involvement in this case goes to the 15th of April. And uh, so I filed this motion because of the fact that with that limited amount of time, this is cases two years be before I ever was in this case, with that limited amount of time to be distracted with this business over this uh, material that belongs to Mr. Felsinelli, I uh, thought that the only way that I could get relief from that because Ms. Diallo's uh, stipulation wasn't satisfactory on Look, May 5th was to I'm get an order from the court. I'm not going to <laughs> revise a dead horse. We resolved that. Okay. I'm doing an order. Thank you. But guys. I'm just saying, in the beginning, I know that you all want to aggressively represent the party. But this is ridiculous. And it's unacceptable. What we're going to do is move forward. You're going to get your things back. The next issue that I should be before this court is an issue dealing with Mr. Bashira and the motions that should be forthcoming. Thank you, that, Judge. That I'll submit a proposed you, order regarding those items for Mr. Stassinelli's um, computer. Oh, Very good. When can I get them? I'm, I'm sorry, Judge. The, the order? The, I'll have it for you the first of the week. i got to draft it and get Miss uh, Lindsay to approve it, but we'll It'll submit an order. You don't have to get me to approve it. If, if, once he gets the list... Everything will be returned. Okay, very good. And this is what the court is going to do. Can I have that? What's the day's date? The 10th? The 11th. The 11th. Let me have that no later than the 16th. Is that a possibility? Sure. Yes. But, but I'm talking about a different order, the one that you ordered, which is that they'll give us the list of what they have off Mr. Felsonelli's judge, computer. You, you never ordered that. You said, 28, yes, you, did. you said 28 days before trial, exhibit list has to be done. They will get... Okay, let me ask a question. The things that have been downloaded, are they available to the defense to inspect? Yeah, we spent, I, my paralegal spent a get, week going through all those computers. We've we found just a few things that have any possible relevance 
she says there's 20 items, please let me know what they are. And if they don't choose to put any of them in then it's fine, but at least we'll know what we're dealing with. I mean, I've got probably well, 30 hours of time put into looking at this stuff. Wait a minute. If your That's why this motion was filed. If your paralegal went through it, then you already know what's in there. Right. Well, I don't know what they say is there. Well, it don't matter what they say is in there. What your paralegal say was in there? Well, She's got at... about, I don't know the number, I think perhaps 10. I'd like to know oh, what okay. they well, identify. Okay, we're off by 10. Okay, look, I'm not going to require that. The only thing that I'm going to do is return of those items forthwith. We'll deal with that. Any issues, uh, we'll deal with that at the final conference. This is it. We're in adjournment. See you later, right. Mr. Bashir. Okay, take him back. Take him back. Mm. Let me go get this order done. Officer, uh, I'm sorry, representative from the growth, can you stick around for a minute? Sure. Okay, thank you. I had a cube on my pocket and the mic fell off.